this is a continuation of the support reactions um, where in the previous videos we discussed a point load and a uniformly distributed load in this video we are going to deal with a uniformly varying load so you can see the load is varying from 0 at point A to 20 at point B so this is a uniformly varying load now as in the previous cases, we can calculate the total load of this force system and convert it to a point load. The total load of this point load system will be the area of this triangle. And that total load will be acting as a point load at the center of gravity of this triangle. So you need to know how to find the area of a triangle and also how to find the center of gravity of the triangle. So in here you have a triangle of base B and the height H. You can find the center of gravity of a triangle by drawing straight lines from one corner to the midpoint of the opposite side and doing the same for all the three corners and then taking the intersection of the three points that will give you the center of gravity of the triangle. So your total load will be acting as a point load at this point or through this point. Now you don't have to find um, this by drawing these lines. You, you, the, the center of gravity of a triangle is already calculated and that will be h by 3 from the base and 2h by 3 from the top point or the apex. Always remember this figure because your force system may be in a different shape. It may be a base at this side uh, or in some cases your base may be in here. So you may also have a, a triangle um, like this. There are cases where you have a triangle like this. So don't get confused. Your, your center of gravity will always be h by 3 from here and 2h by 3 from here. So even though you have a different shape, don't get confused. So back to the original problem, we have your total load as the area of the triangle and you know the area of the triangle is half bh. For a triangle having a base b and a height h, the area is b into h by 2 or half bh. So here you can find the total area by half base that is 20 and height that is 10. So half bh will give you 20 into 10 divided by 2 that is 100 kilonewton. So that will be your total load of this force system and that will be acting at the center of gravity of this force system which is 10 by 3 from point B and 2 into 10 by 3 from A because 10 is the height of the triangle and your center of gravity will be 10 by 3 from B and 2 into 10 by 3 from A as shown here that will be h by 3 from base and 2h by 3 from the apex so you have the load to the the load is at 10 by 3 from point B and 2 into 10 by 3 from point A. So now you have converted this force system to an equivalent force system here, which is having a 100 kilonewton of point load acting at 10 by 3 from B and 20 by 3 from A. Now you can apply the, the same conditions as before. Um, total moments is equal to zero and then take moment about A or B, you have three forces. If you consider the moment uh, as mentioned here, you're taking moment about A, then you need to consider three forces, RA, 100 kilonewton here, and RB, whereas RA and RB acting in the positive Y direction and 100 kilonewton acting in the negative Y direction. So the distance of RA, the perpendicular distance of RA from A is zero, so you have no moments for this force. 
The perpendicular distance to 100 kilo newton is 10 into 2 by 3 and the perpendicular distance to RB is 10 or 10 into 2 by 3 plus 10 into 1 by 3 which is 10. And 100 kilo newton is creating a clockwise moment about A therefore that will be a negative moment and RB is creating a counterclockwise moment about A so that will be a positive moment. So you have minus 100 into 10 into 2 by 3 plus RB into 10 equal to 0. So minus 100 into 20 by 3 plus RB into 10 equal to 0. Or you have RB equal to 2000 divided by 30 that is 66.67 kilo Newton. Again you have another equation of equilibrium that is summation of forces in y direction equal to 0. You don't have to consider the, the third one that is summation of forces in x direction is 0 because you don't have any forces along the x axis here. So you only need to satisfy these two conditions for the equilibrium of this force system. Now you have summation of forces in y direction equal to 0 that gives you Ra plus Rb equal to 100 or Ra plus Rb minus 100 equal to 0. Anyway, you can you can satisfy that condition or oh, in fact Ra plus Rb is positive y and 100 is negative y. So you have Ra plus Rb minus 100 equal to 0 or Ra plus Rb equal to 100. You know Rb is 66.67 and therefore Ra will be 100 minus 66.67 that is 33.33 kilo newton. There is an interesting point to be noted here. We have discussed the symmetry in the previous case where we saw the so that uh, if the load is acting at the mid span and that is vertically downward and the beam is simply supported then the load will be distributed equally between the two supports. Here there is a slight change the load is not acting at the mid span however you can find the reactions by taking the ratio of this length. So the total load is 100 and the distance these two distances the distance of RA from the load and the distance of RB from the load is having a ratio. This is 1 by 3 and this is 2 by 3. So RB will be 100 into 2 by 3 and RA will be 100 into 1 by 3. RB is 100 into 2 by 3 that is 66.67 and RA is 100 into 1 by 3. Think about it that is a case of symmetry and um, uh, I, I don't want to confuse you if you have any doubts let me know and I will explain it to you in the further uh, in the future videos but you can always find the reactions by this method.